In this chapter, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a theme from scratch for the Livingston Hotels and Resorts, and we're going to base it off of the Fjord theme from Marketplace. So if you are interested in looking at the finished product, you can either look at our solutions and your exercises, or you can take a look at the Marketplace itself for the Fjord theme and a number of other awesome themes there as well. Now in this section, we're gonna go ahead and start by laying the foundation with setting our HTML. And remember, we're going to use FreeMarker as our HTML markup language. And from there, we're gonna go ahead and start adding things like our CSS styling, JavaScript, and then we'll do some configuration and look at some advanced options as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can go ahead and get started building our theme using the LifeRay theme generator. All right, so uh, at a high level, the theme module is gonna be one of the most important modules for applying your branding. And the reason for that is because this is where we provide our global custom styling, uh, but also things like the clay base are built into our theme. So if we wanna do any sort of major customizations to the clay uh, components or anything along those lines, we have to do that through the theme itself. So our theme is responsible for providing the global styling on all of our site pages. And we'll see what this looks like as we start building this together. So again, we are going to use the LifeRay theme generator to build our theme from scratch. We've already set that up in the first chapter. Now there are four generators that come with the LifeRay theme generator. There's the LifeRay theme generator. Okay, this is obviously going to build the actual theme. And then we have LifeRay theme import, LifeRay theme layout, and LifeRay theme themelet, okay? Now LifeRay theme import is going to allow us to import an existing theme uh, from the SDK and pull it into the LifeRay theme generator, okay? So if you've already used the SDK before, uh, you can actually pull it in and get it started with the generator process as well. The other two options, LifeRay theme layout and LifeRay theme themelet are gonna give us some additional module options to work with. So the layout is going to create our layout templates and we'll talk about that in the next chapter. And themelets are going to be small, compact, reusable pieces of code that we can plug into our themes. All right, so we're going to take a look at that in this chapter, but in a later section. Now, when it comes to building our themes, and we'll see this when we actually create our theme together, uh, the way this is gonna work is we are going to have a build folder and a source folder. Now I'll note that the build folder does not uh, exist until you actually compile the theme for the first time or deploy the theme for the first time. But once we have that build folder, that's going to contain our base theme, okay? Now the way our LifeRay themes work is they are built on a base theme. When you generate a LifeRay theme for the first time, uh, you're not truly generating it from scratch. Now what do I mean by that? Uh, what it's gonna provide for us is our clay base, that is our clay implementation, those components, the basic CSS styling for those, and it's gonna give us a basic free marker structure in our HTML source file, okay? So this gives us a page that essentially looks and acts like you would expect from LifeRay. It's not stripping everything out, but it is bringing it down to sort of the bare bones and we can provide our custom styling to work on top of that, okay? This base theme is represented in this build folder, all right? And then we have a source folder. The source folder is where all of our customizations are going to go. So a normal process for developing a theme is going to be taking content from the build folder, bringing it to the source folder, and then modifying it from there, okay? So on deploy, it's gonna build the build folder first, and then it's gonna take our customizations and overwrite that base theme with our customizations. So keep that in mind. If you've worked with LifeRay themes in the past, perhaps you're familiar with the diffs folder concept. Uh, the build is essentially going to act as that base theme and the source is essentially going to act like our diffs folder, okay? So again, source is where all of our customizations are going to go. All right, now let's take a look at our HTML source file. When we build our theme, uh, we'll see and we'll even talk about here about a number of other HTML files or FTL files to be specific that we will be working with. And the most important one here is going to be our portalnormal.ftl. All right, this is the free marker file that is the basis for all of our site pages. So this is our HTML source file. Now there are a number of sections in here that we'll actually take a look at when we open up the code and create this for the first time. Uh, but at a base level, what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be working within that wrapper section. 
And in that wrapper section there, there are three major sections that we'll be working with that really comprise every Liferay page, okay? There's gonna be the banner section at the top, and this is going to be where we have things like our logo, our site name, our page title, the sign-in link, this is where our navigation is going to exist. And the content section will include things like the portlet HTML structure and will include the layouts as well. And then lastly, at the bottom, we have a footer section, okay? The default base theme just has a very basic powered by Liferay, but we can of course modify this as well to fit whatever design needs that we have. All right, now of course, like I said, we're gonna be using FreeMarker for all of our HTML files, including this HTML source file. And we have the ability to take advantage of some of those free marker features that I had talked about in the last chapter, okay? These free marker features include things like macros, so we can see some of the macros already in use, uh, taking advantage of running things like the control menu, for example. Um, and we also have our if else statements and our includes already working in our base theme as well. So things like if has navigation, uh, include, and then it will give us the path to the navigation FTL. All right, so some of these are already built in and I'll go ahead and talk about some of those additional files. And we can, of course, include our own custom files as well. So for example, if I want to distinguish the footer free marker code from the portal normal to keep it clean, um, I can go ahead and create a footer.ftl and then we can just simply include it in the portal normal file. And we'll actually take a look at doing that when we create our theme together. Now some other files that are included in our portal normal FTL are things like the portal popup.ftl and like I said, the portlet FTL, okay? These are free marker files that control the structure, the HTML structure of those given resources, okay? So navigation is obviously going to control the navigation. Uh, portal popup is going to control uh, what the popup HTML is going to look like. So you can modify that if you'd like as well. And then the portlet free marker file is going to control all of the sort of widget HTML structure. So whenever we add a widget to the page, uh, the portlet FTL is gonna control what the actual HTML output is of that, okay? Now this doesn't have anything to do with controlling the actual functionality of the widgets, of course, uh, but if we want a particular styling or a particular uh, HTML structure for our portlets or widgets, uh, we can go ahead and modify that file there as well. Now, something else we will see in our theme is called the init custom.ftl, okay? Now, the init FTL, which we'll find in the build folder, is going to be the file that uh, links all of our free marker variables to our Java objects, our Liferay API. Okay, so this is a very, very important file. Uh, we don't want to mess this file up, but we may in some cases want to add to the file. We want to customize it. Okay, so the way this works is pretty simple. If you go all the way to the bottom of the init.ftl, you will see that it is including the init custom, okay? So what this allows us to do is in our source folder for the theme, we can go ahead and include the init custom, add all of our custom variables to that file, and it will simply append it to the end of the init.ftl on build. So this is gonna be the best practice for adding our own custom variables if we don't want to remove any of the uh, init FTL variables that we can go ahead and use, all right? Now, many of these variables are used in the theme, so we'll actually see a number of variables already in action, and these are being read from the init.ftl. So I would encourage you when you build your theme to pause the video, go ahead and take a look at that file, and you can go ahead and get a feel for what variables are available to us um, in our actual themes. All right, so this is just a quick example of the init FTL's common set of variables that they have assigned. Again, I would encourage you to pause the video once we create our theme and take a look at the file on your own and get a feel for some of these variables and what they actually include for us. All right, so to recap all of this, uh, the themes are gonna be our primary module for providing our custom global styling across the entire platform for our site pages. This is gonna include our HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, as well as some images. All right, the base theme is going to be built for us when we generate our theme, and it's going to include that clay base. So we're gonna get our clay components already built into our theme with some basic HTML structure through our free marker files, okay? We can use things like Liferay theme import to import some existing themes into the process if you're not doing this from scratch. And we also have a few files that are gonna be our main source files. 
Okay, so the one I have already mentioned is going to be the portal normal.ftl. That'll be our HTML source file. And when we get to CSS and JavaScript, we'll see that the custom SCSS is going to be our CSS source file and our main.js is going to be our JavaScript source file. Okay, and I'll explain those as we get to those sections. All right. Additionally, we can configure and we will configure our theme using the liferay look and feel.xml. And we'll actually see this in just a moment when we create our theme together. So let's go ahead and build our theme from scratch. We're going to build and deploy it so we get that build folder. And then we can start setting up our source folder with all of the things that we want to customize. And we'll take a look at some of these source files as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get started.